Hello everyone, Alicia Power here, founder of ZolMentoring.com. Welcome and thank you for your time in watching this short video today. I'd love to begin today with an exploration of a very short word, a very small word, and a word which is really at the core, at the bottom line of uh, our everyday life and of our happiness really and that word is clarity and it's such a simple word it's such a tiny little word and yet and I've already done several videos on this topic and it's such an important topic so I'd love to just bring it up again and let's explore it again clarity and why is it so important um, look the word clarity means to have zero fear from my point of view, that's what it means. It means not being in doubt. It means not being uncertain. It means knowing precisely what the truth is at that moment so that your choice is specific. It's precise. It knows what it wants to choose. Your capability of making a decision in that moment has zero doubt. That's clarity. I feel that we as humans need those moments <clears throat> of zero doubt, of zero fear, of zero uncertainty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one of the ways to get to a point of clarity, uh, you know how there's many different paths. You know, for example, exercise is a wonderful way of getting clear. One of the reasons why it makes an enormous difference in getting to a point of clarity is because when you exercise aerobically, you push out of your auric field, your electromagnetic field, the subtle energy envelope that surrounds you. You push out of it resonance, energy, which is stuck. Aerobic exercise, whether it's running, whether it's cycling, whatever it is that's where you're working your body hard, this is just one very simple way of achieving that state that I was talking about of zero doubt and zero fear. So aerobic exercise, pushing your body to a point where you're not in sort of this back foot feeling of uncertainty, whether it's playing tennis, whether it's whatever you want to do, but here I am speaking about something very specific, which is aerobic exercise and tough, hard aerobic exercise where you are pushing yourself. The auric field which surrounds your body, the electromagnetic field of subtle energy that surrounds your body, carries resonance, it carries feelings in it, it actually carries waveforms of emotion and waveforms of your thoughts. Your thoughts radiate out in waves of energy constantly. So your electromagnetic field is really the home, it's the hard drive of your thoughts and your emotions. The hard drive meaning that that those feelings and thoughts are held in the electromagnetic field that surrounds your body. When you do hard aerobic exercise, your aura, your electromagnetic field, particularly the area of the aura, the electromagnetic field, which is closest to your body, it kind of activates, it kind of wakes up and it kind of, kind of shakes itself. The energy, the electric energy that surrounds your body kind of wakes up, it brightens up, it clarifies and it pushes away from itself any dense, dark, sad and fearful energy. Energy itself is a substance. For those of us that have clairvoyant capability, meaning that we can perceive consciously and deliberately what's taking place in those subtle energy bodies, in the subtle fields. You could almost say in the worlds of spirit, in the worlds of subtle energy, in the worlds of quantum energy. 
those of us that can see, we see fear, we see emotional pain as a substance. It sits in specific parts of the anatomy of your auric field. Our work, our professional work that we do, is we facilitate with our conscious mind uh, those that substance of fear. We facilitate it in the, from the point of view of we actually go into the auric field and using our specific skills, we pull the substance of fear out of the auric field and there is an immediate state change to the person we're doing it for. Their state changes, their thinking style changes immediately, instantly change. That's not what I'm talking about right now. Well, in a way it is, actually. We're talking about clarity. But I'd love to educate you a little bit here about the subtle energy field and the fact that a simple thing like aerobic exercise actually pushes that substance of fear out of the auric field. It kind of breaks it up and it kind of shakes it up. And uh, as the auric field begins to glow and activate and its electric energy begins to spark up and get very, very bright, the brightness itself, the energy and the power of um, the brightness of the electricity, it's very hard to talk about in normal human words here, it actually pushes the substance of fear out. Isn't that fabulous? That is so fabulous. I just find it, um, it's quite simple. It's an action that takes place. It's not something airy, fairy and vague. It actually takes place. <clears throat> I personally watch it when I'm at the gym and I'm running over 10 minutes, over 20 minutes. I am watching my own auric field clear of the substance of fear. It floats off. It just takes off over and over and over again. It's absolutely fabulous. So here's one very simple tool to use. Um, to get yourself into a state of clarity because what we're talking about is zero doubt and zero fear. W when you have had that uh, aerobic exercise and then you go into a situation where you have to have a, uh, a conversation with someone where you have to be clear in your state whether you're in a leadership position, uh, whether you have to make a choice about something, your inner state makes all the difference to how you react in that absolute moment where you're gathering the information, where you're hearing somebody else speak. Your own perception lens is clearer. You're hearing differently. You're inside of yourself solidly comfortably, relaxed. You're not in that shaky, jittery place. I don't know about you, but all of us, most of us, sometimes experience uncertainty. Certainly you could uh, feel uncertainty through not having enough information. That's something different. I'm talking about state. Um, and Today on planet Earth, there are so many people who are in financial difficulty, they are in uncertainty, they don't know where their next pay packet's coming from. So I'm just saying that if you want to change your mind state, your mental state, your consciousness state, it's just one idea, it's one tip. It makes an enormous difference and all of us can do it. We can go for a run, we can do something that's aerobic over an extended period. I'm talking about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes at least for the expulsion of what I would call and what I see as a substance which sits in our electromagnetic field, sits in our auric field. It influences our thinking, it influences our state, fear, caution, doubt, uh, for us clairvoyant people. Uh, we see it as that substance. It is real. It makes a difference when you do something to push it out. Uh, your state changes. You understand an issue differently. You're approaching it differently. You're on top of the moment instead of uh, on the back foot of that moment. So just a short tip here makes an enormous difference. And I'm teaching you and giving you an insight from the point of view of someone who can see into the subtle energy worlds. And I use uh, 
uh, my knowledge and my skill in very practical ways uh, to navigate my everyday life. And I love it, and I love passing it on to you. So thank you so much for listening. Please feel free to visit our website, soulmentoring.com, and uh, sign up if you like to. We have a free six-month training program, a home study program, uh, which is a soul workout where you get to know your own soul. Um, and it's free. And these are five-minute video clips throughout for each week, actually, one a week throughout a whole six months where you get to know your own soul. It's like going to the gym to get to know your own soul. Thank you so much. Alicia Power here, and we'll see you again soon.